Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about how to theme a chat book. This is coming up because I've had uh, quite a few people recently talk to me about putting their chat books together and kind of how to do it. And there is the way we were doing it with the endless poem if you were a part of the free writing workshop I did a couple weeks ago, or if you've been in Anarchy Crew, um, you, you can put a chat book together doing that. But if that's not like the way you want to do it, and you just want to do it with the stuff you're writing, there's a few things here. One of the comments I get is that it's hard to write to a theme. So if it's hard to write to a theme, don't write to a theme. You don't have to write to a theme. You could write poems about anything and put any poems together. Your theme could be, these are the poems that you wrote in the month of January. Okay? Your theme could be, these are the poems I wrote this week. You don't have to have a theme. Themes work well when it comes to sales. And again, this is all the fault of fucking Amazon, but... Everything has to fall into a category. For a lot of us, when we submit poems to magazines, the magazine will usually have a theme. When we submit manuscripts to publishers, like, and I've talked about this before, the publisher says, okay, so what's your book about? Well, it's a collected um, book of my poetry. Okay, but, but what's the theme? What's it about? Like, how can we sell this? What's the thing? And then you're like, well, it's just poems. Try harder. What's it about? Um, well, there's a lot of poems in it about feeding my dog. Okay, dog poems. This is great. Tell me more. Like, let's make this more of a niche. Like, what about feeding your dog? Well, um, I have to chew my dog's food before I feed it to my dog because my dog has no teeth. And that's what all the poems are about. Perfect feeding dogs with no teeth like now we have something we can sell this is how stupid um selling fucking poetry is or selling any kind of fucking art this is how everything and and again like that is kind of a exaggerated story but that's kind of how it is and like with me like i have um poems about fucking okay i put that out on valentine's day or around Valentine's Day. And so in the shop listing for it, it says like like poems about fucking blah 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 erotic poem erotic poetry for Valentine's Day or something like that. Like you put in these little fucking things so search engines can pick them up better. So things can find your stuff. And then there's going to be times when people who are readers of yours just want to read certain things like they're going to want to read the poetry you have about love they want to read the poetry you have about relationships they want to read the poetry you have about nature okay like if they like you and they're like feeling a certain feeling they'll want to read about that do you see what i'm saying so those are the reasons why you do those things, but you don't have to do that. If you just want to put a book out so people can like know what your poetry is like, give them a fucking giant buffet of all the stuff you have to offer and say, you know, like the first, uh, let me see the first five poetry chapbooks I put out six poetry chapbooks I put out didn't really have a theme other than like my first poetry chat book was um all my friends are dead and i wrote that because and i like those all those poems were written in like a three week period and it's because a few of my friends died all within a saint in one chunk of time and so i was writing a bunch of poems about like mortality and so, like, it ended up having a theme because that's what I was going through at that time. So even if you just say, okay, all the poems I wrote on the second week of March are going to be a chapbook, even though you don't think there's a theme there, 
there probably is a theme because you wrote all those poems around the same time. So you have a lot of the same mindset. The other thing that I hear people say is that they were putting a book together based on a theme and then they stopped writing poems about that. And now that they look back on it, they're not interested in that shit anymore. Like they're past it. So they don't really give a fuck about that anymore. And so they're not like inspired to finish that work. And that's fine because you already worked through it. That's why you feel like that. You feel apart from it and distant from it because writing that was the art. That was the magic. That was you getting through all that shit. So now that that's gone, there's not like a big urge to do anything with it anymore. So this is why I always say, like, once you write a poem... It's dead to you. It doesn't belong to you anymore. It belongs to the reader now. So when I'm putting out chapbooks every month, the only way I can do that is because I, the Matt Wall, the poet, writes the stuff. And then months later, Matt Wall, the publisher, puts a book together. And it doesn't feel, I don't feel connected to every single thing I write all the time. But I put it out because it's not for me. It's for them. It's for the readers at that point. Do you see what I'm saying? So like, because how I put my chapbooks together is I'll write a shit ton of poems. And then I put them in my spreadsheet. And then I put a theme next to the poem. Like what that poem's kind of about. And then I won't put a chapbook out of that stuff until I hit like 20 poems at least about that theme so like the next month's chapbook the um me as an action figure that most of those poems were written like in 2019 when i was like doing the whole like looking back at my life and looking back at my childhood and shit like that you know what i'm saying so and then I finally got to a point where I had enough poems about that topic that I could put a book out. So now the book's coming out, you know? So I would say if you want to do themed stuff that's not themed based on a time period when you wrote it, write 100 poems. And then when you're done with those 100 poems, look at what the themes of those poems are. Make a list. And when you hit 15 or 20 that all fall under a certain theme, there's your book. So unless you have 100 poems to like choose from, don't even fucking worry about putting a book out. Again, unless you want to put it out based on a time period. Like Farm Phoenix Rises was based on a time period. I wrote all those poems like in a month or two. Um, and they are technically about me starting meds and being on medication for my depression, but that wasn't the goal when I was putting that book together. I was just writing poems about how I was feeling. And it turns out that I had a bunch of poems written about how I was feeling and it, they all kind of coincided with that. You know what I'm saying? The themes can fall together on accident. You know, so don't think too much about it. Just focus on writing the fucking poems and the books will come, you know. So hopefully that was helpful. So with that being said, everybody, keep buying my books, type hard, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.